Well, good morning. It's great to be here in Colorado. And as a commander of NORAD, it's a great opportunity for us to highlight some of the great things that our U.S. and Canadian airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines do 24-7, 365, not just on Christmas Eve. And as a Canadian-born U.S. Air Force officer, it's indeed my honor and privilege to be the commander of NORAD. And I look forward to uh, continuing to track Santa today in, a, in line with our history of doing that since 1955, as you mentioned, but also as importantly is making sure that we're able to defend Canada and the United States uh, as NORAD has for so many decades. Well, thanks for the opportunity to highlight that. So to the same sensors that we're using today to track Santa, we use to make sure that we understand what's happening all over the globe and make sure that we are able to, at a moment's notice, be postured to defend North America. And as we see the changing security environment, as we see things changing throughout the world, we see a renewed emphasis in being able to make sure that we are able to protect the, both the approaches to the United States and Canada as well as our sovereign territory. And things like the Arctic that used to be a buffer zone is now increased activity, what we see there. Same as the oceans that used to be moats. Uh, now we see increased activity from our potential adversaries. And so NOAD's picking up a very uh, increased responsibility, increased role with respect to the changing security environment, and making sure that we're postured uh, for both Canada and the U.S. Yeah, it's a great story. There's actually an advertisement in the local paper that had erroneously put down a phone number that was actually our command center. It actually predates NORAD by just a couple years, but our command center here uh, had a colonel, Colonel Shoup, that answered the phone, and he just went with it. The, the young kid was asking him, you know, where is Santa? Uh, what's Santa doing? And so he just kind of made it up on the fly. Uh, and over, ever since then, since 1955, we've now got a pretty robust team, uh, over 1,500 volunteers that are here today uh, in order to uh, track Santa. Uh, we have over 2 million followers on Twitter uh, and Facebook. Uh, we've had over 137,000 calls uh, last year alone. And of course, NORAD, uh, Santa.org is the great place to go if you want to see the uh, see it on the internet. Yeah, so right now Santa's on the way to the Mariana Islands. Uh, he's already delivered almost 700 million gifts and he'll continue uh, throughout the globe. Uh, a couple of things I'd say for the, for the young kids out there is one of the things Santa likes is he likes to come into the homes where the kids are asleep. Uh, so I recommend the kids go to bed early, uh, get a good night's rest and get up early in the morning and you'll see what Santa left you. Okay, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all. Thank you.